imagine that. We need to turn the power on. How original. Oh, wonderful. Welcome, everybody, to um, a brand new season that I want to start. I, I've been actually dying to start now for a while. Uh, I've been um, playing around, and I, I was searching up some pretty good zombie maps, or custom zombie maps, as you guys are looking at right now. Uh, let me turn down my sound a little bit from my headset. It might get a little too loud on my uh, on the video, so I'm gonna have to turn that down as well. But um, there's two zombies left. So I'm playing this on keyboard and not a uh, controller this time because I don't have a controller with me to play on. And um, I did attempt to record Fallout earlier. Fallout 3 on a keyboard and that did not go well so um, I did say that I was going to go back and play Fallout after I had eaten supper and I completely forgot to do that so alright well I think it's time for me to go grab a gun uh what How's this? I'll do. So, um, yeah, zombies. I, it's something new. I've never played Nuketown on War to War before. It's just so old. The map itself is it is it um looking at its best either. But hey, it's it's um it's better than anything else. So um the box is over there. I like how the, there's a light that shows where the hell the box is, and I'm not really sure if if um if it moves or at all because I I don't know I don't really know much about it. Oh, wonderful. So this will have dogs. And, um, download for this will be in the description. I mean, I've never done this before, so... I'm hoping that this will be something you guys will enjoy. I know I'm going to enjoy this a lot because I'm a big, huge zombie fan myself. I love zombies ever since I found it. Uh, from World at War, so have been a long-time zombie fan ever since War of War at War came out. Um, but I was unable to play War at War Zombies due to me having a Wii and having the game on the Wii. Where the fuck are you going? Okay, so yeah, having the game on the Wii, the Wii does not have the zombies mode in it at all. Not even not sure on Tolton. So I was pretty much upset at, at that. And none of the DLC came along with it. And the maps were like super tiny compared to the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC version of the game. And it was a longer story mode on the PC, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360 version compared to the Wii. So, one reason why the Wii sucks. Um... That's really that about the Wii. Oh shit. So pretty much my strategy is to um, get some good guns, um, grab all the perks by round 10, And then survive and won the houses. I think it's the house with the pack a punch machine in it. Oops. Alright, so I think the first pack a punch machine I'm going to. Or no, not. Oh, the power must be act activated. I completely forgot to do that. And it 
power is just right here. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. I think this is the room with the pack fetch. Yeah, it is. And there's one more dog. I don't know where he's going to come from. I think it's going to come up the stairs on the left. Shut up, pack a punch. Dog. Oh, dog. Oh, what the fuck is it? He would have been at me by now. How did the thing go? I might have to restart the level. I don't know where he went. Unless he spawned on the roof, which I doubt. I'm gonna restart it. <sighs> that is embarrassing. That's never happened to me before. It's fairly new. Alright, so yeah, the first thing you guys would want to do is just turn on the electricity, because you kind of need that to get anything done. I don't know why people are like, no, shoot the legs so many times and then knife them. It gives you more points. Just, no, it doesn't. I don't care. It, it's not how I play zombies. What I do like about this map is that everything is practically unlocked. You don't have to go through that bullcrap of unlocking shit. That and the map is slightly, it's just slightly bigger. So how much was this again? 12,000? Or uh, 1,200, excuse me. All right, there I go. They're dropping like bad habits. So I don't know what what happened with that glitch or bug or whatever. That was a big bug, but eh. So, yeah, what I like about this map is that it's pretty big. It's bigger than the Black Ops 1 map. It's just slightly bigger. I say slightly because this area is... is a, you can tell it's a lot bigger. And, um...
yeah, you can pretty much tell that this this map was pretty well done. Except that that's a train car, not a bus, but oh well. Oh, wow. That's... Alright, so, got a Wonder Waff, got a Thompson. Don't think I really need anything else now. I could just pack a punch to both of them and then I'll be surviving. What I kind of wish that there was is, um... Oops. Uh, the uh, perk to hold three guns so kind of I'm kind of upset that there's no none of that so oh well there's one more which I'm pretty sure he's runner or not great shot And I think this is the doll ground. If it's not the doll ground, then I don't know. Nope. Next round is, though. So, I'm pretty much just going to record this until I go down. I don't know why, but I happen to be very good at small type maps. Don't know why. Five shots. Next round of zombies. I've got to be prepared. Or not, you know, just meh. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and camp up here, and I have a PPSH up here as well if I wanted to change out of the Thompson, which I most likely will. I think the f uh, first perk I need to get is uh, speed. Whoa, that was close. I'm usually not this careless, but hey, zombies, what are you going to do? Oops, I forgot the reload. Kind of needed max ammo anyways. Alright, where's the next perk? Has to be like... Upstairs or something. Still no zombies. That's weird. Oh, uh, go ahead and get double tap. Alright, now to find Speed Cola. Or stay here for Quick Revive. Which 
I'm pretty sure the rules have changed in um, War to War. I'll probably get Quick Revive after the round ends. I don't know what that was, but oh well. Whoa. Now, if I didn't have Juggernog, I would have went down instantly. Now to find Quick Revive. There's the dog sound. Juggernog. Let's worry about speed cola here in a minute. Like I said, I got a PPSH right here, so. At least the last dog didn't glitch out this time. I really got to find speed cola, though. I'm fucked. Oh, what? What? I had quick revive though. Oh, that's unfair. I kind of knew that it would it would do something like that. I knew I was fucked. So I don't know why I did that. I guess I was being careless. I survived 20 rounds last time, believe it or not. So I know it's kind of hard to be like, oh. How, how did you survive 20 rounds when you only did 8? That's because I'm be I was being careless. I was being very careless. It's a very easy map to survive on, though, after you get, like, a good... Like, the best two guns in the game. The Wonder Wolf and a Thompson. Or a PPSH. Well, actually, if you had a Thompson and PPSH upgraded in general, you, you, you have the best two guns. So, there you go. There's your zombies. So... I'm pretty sure you could survive long rounds with that without having to do anything else. Other than that, I, I, I'm probably going to enjoy this series more than the next person. I do apologize if I don't commentate as much as the next person does with zombie maps like Syndicate or um, Captain Sparkles. or Well, I don't even know if they even do custom zombie maps. But, but even if they did, I'm still like very bad commentator when it comes to things like zombies well anything in general to be honest but does it really matter if you guys enjoyed this please leave a like subscribe if you like it and want more or whatever and well tell me how i did because to be honest like i said i, I was very careless so i might do another i might do another round i might record it and just be like here you go. Here's another round of me doing Nuketown. Uh, again, the download link is in the description. And uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.